Hello guys, welcome to Ride VIP the Ride Your Channel. My name is Serge and in today's video I want to do two things. I want to first explain what happened uh, to me and why I wasn't uploading uh, for a while. Uh, yes, I am driving in my Range Rover. I'm gonna be doing a Friday, Saturday and Sunday challenge, which is a $330 uh, quest challenge. Um, so, let's begin. Why am I driving my Range Rover? <laughs> so, the reason I'm driving is exactly the same reason, the reason number one, what happened to me. And this is what brings me here. Well, guess what? My BMW is no longer operational. Why is that? Well, I had some people run into it, into my quarter panel, and Thank God, I'm okay, but when they did that, I did hit my head on the um, on the pillar, on the BMW, and I didn't hit my shoulder. The shoulder still hurts, uh, the head is, uh, is doing okay. Thank God. <laughs> and good thing, good thing, it wasn't um, working that day, and um, so when this happened, uh, I was driving by myself, and it was late at night. I was going through a construction zone, uh, and basically these people, they were honking behind me like I was going too slow for them, right? In the BMW, which uh, I was going the normal speed limit for that construction zone, but apparently it was not fast enough, and it was only one lane to go through all the cones. So. We got to this one point where the road narrowed and half of my lane that I was driving in was obstructed with cones. So I had to be half in the left lane, which is not a left lane, but you'll understand why I say it this way, because the other half was a bike lane. So half bike lane, half, the, half in the left lane, which is really still your got a single lane so I was driving and then you know they, they, they pursued honking some more and I even uh, put my turn signal on to let them know uh, as soon as possible I'm gonna get out of their way because I'm not gonna speed up for them just because they're honking because um, after all you want to stay safe so then once um, it was safe to do so, and there was no more cones in my left lane. I turned the turn signal on, of course, I would head it on. I proceeded to gradually uh, go in there, and what they ended up doing is they were driving a Crown Vic, 2010 Crown Vic, and they sort of did like, like police do uh, a pit maneuver. So it's, it turned my whole vehicle around basically because they started passing me on the left side and there's really no passing place over there so they squeezed in and decided to do that and of course immediately they want to play the blame game they're like you were trying to make a u-turn it's like they'll just make up some stuff like that now the good thing is i had a dash cam recording the whole thing um so the dash cam was recording me driving and it was also recording me and actually that area outside was very well lit because these are night that dash cam that was facing me is like not a night vision camera so because there was a lot of lights outside i was very visible with everything that happened so when they hit me they really caught me off guard and then what they end up doing is my my car doors they normally lock when i'm driving by myself but if i open up my driver door for any reason which i did that day that the driver door stays unlocked so my driver door was unlocked and I kind of then you know I wasn't like still it like doesn't matter right like you're not really thinking like why should it be locked you know so anyways once they wrecked me they all came out of their car and it was four of them so they ran around my car I don't know for what reason right but they did and one of them opened up my door and uh they were trying to basically drag me out of my own car. Like, you know, they said, get out of the car, this and that, you know. So what 
I done is very calmly, like I always do, I don't react for these situations. I just grab my own door, I close it, and I quickly lock my BMW. So, but they still pulled on my handle and, you know, obviously it would not open for them because uh, it's locked. And then what I end up doing is, um, my car, my car was still on, it did not disable it, but they did bend my rear wheel. Uh, it's slightly in, you know, lots of damages. And um, I'm not gonna show this by 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 the way, because this, you know, any videos or or pictures of this whole thing, just because of this whole thing, it's uh, it's uh, it's still ongoing. Um, however, I was found uh, by my insurance company and their insurance company not at fault, and they said the video helped. So what I want to do is just provide you some information, but I'm not gonna provide you any pictures or video you know just just in case but anyways anyways I closed my door locked it and then they were still outside yelling and um, and this is all on video telling me I made a U-turn that kind of thing but anyways well they were not that I didn't make it, but I was thinking of making like how could they even assume such a thing, but if they're so smart, then why try to pass me on the left or do anything? Why you follow me to close? Why you honking at me? You know, that kind of thing. But um but that's what they end up doing and of course they're gonna play the blame game. And since there was four of them it was a good thing that I had a dash cam because you know when four people say you know one thing and I say the other if there's no camera um, that obviously obviously they might think that they're right and I'm wrong so dash cam helped even the insurance agent from their insurance agency they said well the video helped you're you know you're basically you're in the right here um, they're wrong they said no I'm thinking of installing a dash cam in my car like that's what they said and I said yeah like a good idea uh, see I had the dash cam facing me and the reason I have it facing me is so that if a cop pulls me over and says you were not wearing a seatbelt I could say yeah I have a camera you know and it's facing me and yes I was wearing it but anyways um, <laughs> you would think I learned from my lesson and actually install a dash cam here but I was running short on time I did not install one in this vehicle just yet but I will um, because it is really important to have one um, but that being said since my vehicle disabled um, I believe now it's been almost two weeks that I haven't been working uh, and I really need to get back out there and actually work um, I still haven't got paid for my car yet I submitted all the all the stuff for them to be able to be able to uh, determine how much damages there is to the car all of those good things it's really disappointing that the BMW is damaged <clears throat> it's running low on uh, water this is water by the way so it's really unfortunate really unfortunate that they damaged my BMW uh, I really really like that car I mean I would like to say loved but I don't even know that would be appropriate but the thing is I really enjoyed it my wife enjoyed it my kids was disappointed it was damaged and my three-year-old daughter when she seen it she started crying like she was like really upset that daddy's car is damaged like that you know for her it was like a little bit traumatic she started crying you know so with that being said, um, yeah, you know, I'm waiting, waiting, doing this waiting game when it comes to, when it comes to getting paid, the money is that I'm old for my BMW, and I'm sitting, my, sitting on my hands, basically, not working. Uh, in the process, I also got, I mean, this... This just kind of happened yesterday. Uh, I got a cold. 
all of a sudden. I was like shivering. I got cold. But anyways, so the day before yesterday, on Wednesday, I, I've taken my Range Rover to get it inspected, a test inspection, so that I could start using it for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for lift. Um, so all that's good now, and I'm going to basically take some clients. see will I make any money in the Range Rover or will I lose money I'll probably make a video like that but this video I wanted to kind of like update you yes I am working <clears throat> but um, the next video I would like to make is I'm gonna work a whole Friday shift probably gonna be way into the morning and then I'm gonna see how much fuel it has cost me and how much money that I make. You know, is it even worth it at that point? Um, the information on my dash is displaying that my Range Rover is is doing 13.8 miles per gallon. So that is mainly city driving. Mainly, yeah pretty much and um, so it's probably gonna be about the same uh, when I'm gonna work I guess it's gonna be some highway but what I'm gonna do is I'm driving to the gas station that I normally drive to I drive through a QT uh, for some reason the fuel is sometimes 30 cents cheaper for the premium fuel than my hometown gas station which is in South Carolina as well as you know fuel prices are very expensive now uh, I haven't checked the price of premium today but last time I checked it was about four dollars and ten cents for premium per gallon and the one that I choose to uh, fuel up at was like 379 so about 30 cents cheaper so I'm gonna fuel up at that gas station again and what I'm gonna do is this I'm a platinum status with lift so that means I have six destination modes so I'm gonna set a destination mode from basically Rock Hill area all the way to Charlotte and I'm going to basically once I get to Charlotte I'm gonna go offline and set uh, an area uh, that I'm gonna work in a radius so I'm probably gonna set a radius at about five to seven miles in and around town and I will stay within that radius and work I think if I do that then it will eliminate the possibility of lift sending me somewhere really far um, yes I do not want to go somewhere really far because obviously it's not fuel efficient for me and I'm going to be losing money at that point so with the Range Rover especially I got to play it smart but because of my um, fueling situation and plus there's almost zero chance of me getting any type of rides from my town of Lancaster to go to Charlotte I don't even bother going online I've, I was only lucky a few times and when those happened you know it took me you know sometimes like one time I think to downtown one time to like the South Charlotte or whatever you know and I was I guess over there but that rarely ever happens but what it does mess up for me is the amount of time that I could work so if I'm working on a quest which I am right now um, I have basically three full days three full 12 hour days if you could call it that so that means I need to maximize the amount of earnings in that time to make the most out of my time that's allowed which would be ultimately about 36 hours uh, if I want to complete my bonus and uh, this time I'm gonna have to try to work exactly uh, all of that time um, and see 
see if I could actually um, complete this challenge. Now, here's the challenge. The first 65 rides is $150 bonus. The next 30 rides is an additional $180 bonus, which um, I think to do those additional 30 rides can be near impossible to do. Uh, last week, I was not able to complete you know that bonus so I, I know I know that you could you could about depend on maximum 25 to 30 rides um, per shift so you would literally have to work at at maximum like slightly like let's just say 32 rides you would have to average 32 rides to then complete like um, what do they want me to complete uh, 95 rides so literally I would have to do about 96 rides that's about like 32 rides a day basically um, okay I could understand like okay Friday could be busy Saturday but what about Sunday you know Sunday might not be busy so that would be very kind of like eh, I hit it in this so I will give you guys an update of everything that's going to go on. Uh, will I, you know, how many rides can I actually do? I don't know. I haven't been working for two weeks. So I don't know if it's slow or good right now. I'm not really sure. But it's a good day right now. It's a warm day. Um, yeah. But anyways, guys, the next video I'm going to record... Um, I want to explain a little bit about the Range Rover, everything that has happened to it, and um, what I've done to it, I mean, you know, those kind of things, just to give you guys a little update. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, take care of yourself, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.